Hi, I'm Thomas Mankawa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be dying on another hill. Comic Sans gets way too much hate, and I would even argue it's a good font. Hold up, we should correct something here. Comic Sans is actually a typeface, not a font. It's a little confusing, but typeface is just the design of a type, whereas a font is the specific size, weight, and orientation of the typeface. So while all these are the same typeface, they're all technically different fonts. It all goes back to when people had to set type in order to print something. The old printing days are also where terms like uppercase and lowercase come from. The more common letters were stored in the lowercase where they were easier to reach, while the less common letters, like capital letters, were stored in the uppercase. But we're getting off topic here. And to avoid confusion, I'm just going to refer to Comic Sans as a font rather than a typeface for this video. Comic Sans was designed by Vincent Conair in 1994 to be used with this dog because dogs don't speak in Times New Roman. It was based off the lettering style of these comic books. It never ended up being used for the dog, but it still ended up on Windows devices. So why do people hate Comic Sans so much? Well, there's several reasons. First, it's kind of ugly. Let's face it, it's not the most beautiful font, and there are certainly nicer ones out there. Look at this one. Isn't this one nice? The second reason it's so hated is because of overuse. Walk into any elementary school and you will see Comic Sans just about on every wall. But I think the main reason it gets so much flack is through misuse. There are a lot of examples of people using Comic Sans inappropriately. Some of these include this letter from the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers notifying fans that LeBron James was leaving the team, this piece of medical equipment, and probably the most egregious of all, this World War II monument. It's gotten to the point where there is actually a movement to have Comic Sans banned. But to me, that doesn't really make it a bad font. There are plenty of other fonts that aren't really that good looking. And overuse doesn't necessarily make it bad either. I mean, look how many of these logos use Helvetica, but nobody seems to have an issue with that. And while there are plenty of situations where it certainly isn't appropriate to use Comic Sans, that isn't the font's fault. People made that choice, not Comic Sans. And besides, there are plenty of situations where it's perfectly acceptable to use it. And there are even situations where it actually works really well. I think a really good example of this is Beanie Babies. The tags use Comic Sans, but Beanie Babies aren't meant to be taken seriously. So I think it was a really good font choice in that situation. But all of that doesn't really make Comic Sans a good font either. It's just a font that isn't exactly terrible. The main reason I think it's actually a good font is that Comic Sans can actually be very helpful to some people. Studies have suggested that Comic Sans might actually be one of the better fonts for people with dyslexia. The British Dyslexia Association actually names Comic Sans as one of the best fonts for dyslexics. The reason for this isn't exactly known, but there's a few theories. Some think it's good because letter forms like B and D, P and Q, and N and U aren't just mirrors of each other, which makes them easier to distinguish from one another for people with dyslexia. Others say it's because it has more space between the letters than other fonts. The lack of serifs might be helpful too. Whatever the reason, it's definitely a good thing, and I certainly don't see fonts like Baskerville helping anyone out. Comic Sans is a lot like Nickelback. It's just become a meme to kinda clown on them, and while neither of them should ever be used at a funeral, there are plenty of situations where it's perfectly acceptable to use them. And in the end, they really aren't all that bad. So it might be time to lay off them just a little bit. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you really like the video, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Thomas Mancala. Goodbye.